Hi, in this video I just want to go over setting up your Duke Nukem Forever with ENB and Sweet Effects. And you want to start by going to the mod here. I'll actually have a link for that um, that I'll leave just under the video. And once you download that, you just want to open the file once you've downloaded it. So we'll just download it here and then I'll open the file. And once the file is open, then you want to go to your game folder. And if you look on the install instructions here, you're going to actually go to the Duke Nukem Forever system folder once you've opened the game folder. Now depending on if you have Steam or GOG, I'll show you how to open each one of those. Now with Steam games, all you have to do is look for the game in the library there, click properties, local files, and browse local files, and that will open up the Steam location. Now the Steam location, if you manually have to go there, your games are located in C program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then you'll find all the games listed up in the common folder. Now if you happen to use GOG, and I, I don't happen to have the GOG version of this, but I'll use um, one of my games here as an example. What you would do is click on the game in your game library, click more, manage installation, and show folder, and that will open up the GOG folder. The GOG programs are in your C program files, GOG Galaxy Games, and then it, the same as the Steam All Your Games will be listed in this folder. Now once you've opened the folder here, you want to go to the System folder right here. And then you just want to drag and drop the contents here into the Game folder. And at this point, if you're a Windows 10 user, you want to go to the DXGI here, and you want to rename that to D3D11. And at this point, you're all set. You want to start the game and set your settings in-game. If you're using DSR or VSR, the higher resolutions will be available to you, and I'll actually make a gameplay video to kind of go over that. And if you do have any issues, such as the um, game crashes on startup or such, with um, Windows 8, I, I do know that the Steam overlay has to be disabled. One of the fellows with Windows 8 had that problem, and he was able to correct it by turning off the overlay for the game. I, myself, haven't had to turn off the overlay playing it on Windows 7, so I'm... I'm not really sure why that occurred, but if you do have an issue and you turn off the overlay and the issue is still there, then what you want to do is, if it's a graphics issue, just go into the Alt D3D9 folder and there's four additional D3D9s here. And what you would do is just copy and paste this into the system folder over top of the existing one and you can try each one of those so if you notice that the game starts but the graphics don't look right or um, something like that you get little glitches as you move then it's more than likely the D3D9 file and you'll just want to replace that now one other thing I just want to mention if you start the game and it looks extremely saturated like really dark and it doesn't look like the actual mod pictures here. I'll just show you. Like if it, if the one side with the enabled effects doesn't look clear like this, and it looks really, really dark, then that's your SMAA. And the instructions for that are actually also on the install notes right here if using DSR or VSR or the game appears dark you just want to make a change to these two files here the one being the sweet effects preset file 
and the other being the EMB series I and I and I'll show you how to do that also so if the game looks extremely saturated just go to the Sweet Effects preset and the Duke Nukem Forever and disable this line here just change that to a zero and then save your game save your file sorry and then you want to make one other change and that's to the EMB series I and I right here and you want to go under the global allow anti-alias and you want to turn that to zero and those two changes will actually correct any coloration issue or performance issue you may have with the game and that's basically it you just want to close the folder then and depending on how you're launching it whether it's GOG or Steam then you can just go ahead and start your game at this point and the new graphics overlay from the sweet effects and EMB should be working at that point and as I said I will make a gameplay video just going over the settings and such um, to make sure that you know what to expect when you're actually using this mod and playing your game all right now if there's any other questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below otherwise i hope this has helped and i hope you enjoy your game and watch for that gameplay video thanks a lot and take care